Hi everybody, if you're just tuning in, sorry that there's no description. I just wanted to make sure that the live video was up as quickly as it could be because TPD is out here. They are taping, putting police tape around this pool. Now this pool is near the gazebo. Volunteers have been showing up here since Friday, since Braylon went missing. And now they, the TPD asked people to move away from the pool. All volunteers have moved back. And now police tape is up surrounding this pool. We didn't get to see much. Um, I mean, it was one police officer that arrived, gosh, I mean, five, five, ten minutes ago. And uh, I mean, you see fire rescue. I saw someone, it looks like it was somebody from the apartment complex checking, checking the pool, or I'm not sure if he works for the apartment complex, but look, if you zoom in over there, that person was carrying some gear and then he went to the pool and I'm not sure what they found because as soon as that man went down there and an officer went down there, they told people immediately to move away. Guys, a uh, police arrived. I mean, five, it, it was one police officer arrived five, 10 minutes ago, along with somebody. Um, I don't know if that other person works with the complex or if he works with a pool company, but the officer and that man went down to the pool in, at the back of apart, the uh, Hunters Ridge apartments. And we weren't able to get a good look as far as what was happening down there because as soon as they went down there, police told everybody to back up and move away and now they have this area uh, taped off. So as you can see, we're all standing back. They told volunteers to move back. They're standing back here. I do not know if the pool drains have been searched previously. From what I could see, you guys, I mean, from the perspective that I had just standing by the fence, I was sitting there for like less than a minute before police told us to move away. Can you guys see that officer down there? Um, but I, I didn't see anything like floating in the pool or anything like that. It seemed, um, the, the man who I said, I, I don't know if he works for a pool company, if he works for the complex, but um, he had one of those, he was holding one of the, I don't even know what it's called, but one of those, hook. a hook, is that what it is? It looks like a hook. A hook? It, it looks like it had a net on the end of it though, right? I saw something that looked like a hook. Okay. So something like a pool, a pool, a tool for a pool that had like a hook on the end. That's what it looks like the, the man was holding. And he just was putting it in the water and then police, a police officer said, everybody back up. So. Hey Kim, do you know if the pool had been checked since you guys have been out here? Okay, so the drain, the very first day, there was a diver down in that drain. Okay. If that baby's in there, somebody put that baby in there. When, when was that though? Friday. Friday, a diver had gone in. 
and check the drain. Yeah. Now that's what somebody, that tall guy here, he said he's seen him, that there was pit, actual pictures taken of it coming mm -hmm. out. And he said it was Friday if you want to get it 100% accurate, he will be the one that tells you. Mm -hmm. um, hey. We are on Facebook Live, by the way, so okay. if, if that's an issue. No, but. not at all. Um, we are on Facebook Live, but we have a question to ask real quick. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, because uh, I heard that you were out here on Friday. I've been out here just about every day. Did you see anybody check check the pools or check the drain on Friday? There was a report. I'm not sure which media outlet it was, but somebody showed a report that the diver, Toledo Fire and Rescue, they did check that pool that day. Okay. He had his wetsuit on. He was down there with the... Uh... So, so you did not see with your own eyes, but no. you had heard on the news. Okay. Okay. But I know, I know this has been third before. The whole area has been beat up. I mean, mm -hmm. got hundreds of people out here volunteering. Mm hmm. I know. And so close. I mean, yeah, we, we don't know what it, it is. But. It doesn't make sense because it's already been so much. Yeah, we don't know Mom, what they possibly Mom's could have found. Through there. Grandma's been through there. Mm hmm. Okay. So my thought, you don't have to put this on Facebook Live. Okay, we are on Facebook Live right now, so you may want to keep, keep, okay. hold, keep that to yourself for a second, and right. then I'll come back to you. Okay, <laughs> okay so yeah, I just uh, spoke with a volunteer who's been here since Friday. He didn't see... Uh, this pool being checked with his own eyes, but he saw on a, on a local news report that um, it had been, that a diver had gone down. I think it's Grab Toledo Fire had gone down. I did see some water in the pool, not much, right? It, it wasn't full. It yeah, didn't look full. Part out 50%. Yeah, 50%. Do I just hold in the phone for one quick second? Okay, so for people just tuning in, yes, this is at Hunter's Ridge Apartments. This is the complex where Braylon was last seen, where his mom and grandma live. Braylon was last seen on Friday. Volunteers have been out here. This is near the, like if we're driving, if you're driving to the back of the complex, it's near the back. Uh, past a roundabout and then this gazebo is where numerous I mean hundreds of volunteers have taken their time out since Friday to search for Braylon this pool is just steps away and I have been told by volunteers um, no one who's who's seen it with, with their own eyes, but um, they were told that this pool was was checked, that TPD, or not TPD, excuse me, that Toledo Fire had a diver out here. Someone from the Blade Winter had the, the permit come on. To, to the back over there? Yeah. Okay, guys, so more, more officers are on scene here. Okay. And they're pushing us back even further here. So 
so we just have a few people seems like volunteers who showed up they are watching or yeah they're they're standing by and watching right now this is in toledo ohio Police showed up here, I'd say about 20 minutes ago, 15, 20 minutes. And I mean, it was so quick that they had went down to into the pool and then told everybody to back away, back away from the fence. It took about a minute. They know what's going on, right? Back like, I'll send him a picture. Okay. Put a picture in breaking news and So yeah, I mean just lots of volunteers just showing up. You just came out from, from the woods, didn't you, Bruce? Yeah. And then you you see this? Yeah, I was I went check checking up the place out by Eel. Uh huh. And, uh, come back and it looks like they're down in the pool. They're in the pool. Yeah, there's a uh, some officers down there, and I saw I I don't know if he works for the complex or some some guy with like pool gear. He went down there, and he had a um a stick like with the with the hoop on it. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with pool <laughs> tools, but th they just they went down there for like less than a minute, and then they told everybody to back off. I hate to think I've been sitting by this boy all this time, and I didn't even look down there. Mm -hmm. I assume since it's right there, somebody's looked. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sh I, I would have to believe that they, they've had to have searched that area. Yeah. TFD, I, I heard from volunteers that it seems like they did. So, I don't know. But if it was dirty water down there or something like that, he could have been under because that gate was locked. Uh. Are you familiar with pools? I mean, like where, what sort of area could, are there That's a pool house right there. Um. Are there drains that are big enough? Like yeah, There are two drains, and I did see two drains that are about this big. Okay. And, uh, I don't know what's in the, uh, Pump room. Mm -hmm. Nobody, as far as I know, nobody's gone in there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm hearing that Toledo Fire went out, had a diver in there, like on Friday. Uh -huh. So, but but again, that's secondhand because I didn't see it personally. That looks like a wetsuit right there to me. Yeah. Yep. If you guys can see there, I'm just going to zoom in. Maybe I can't, but see that right there is a wetsuit. What well, looks like a wetsuit. You think I could go up there? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Josh said he's watching, they're listening. I could stand on top of my car. I know. From this perspective, it's very difficult to see if there's anybody, you know, what exactly is going down there in the pool. But, yep, a scene is unfolding here. Anybody who was here on Friday or just this weekend searching volunteers, if you can confirm if you saw a diver. Who is that? Oh, Heather. Heather. Okay. Okay. Does, does she know from if it was like she TFR? Said confirmed. But for like TFR?
This is still an active case. The FBI is involved. In fact, just moments ago, some FBI agents... Okay, we just got confirmation from people back at our news station. Okay, sorry guys, we're, we're moving back. We're, we gotta move back. Should I move my car? Sorry guys, I'm just listening. What did you say about moving vehicles? If we need to get something out of our car, should we grab it now? Yes, that would be helpful. Okay. Do you need help with the camera? No, I got it. Okay. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. All of these people brought a boat. I'm going to put everything I need in the backpack. Sir. I'm okay. Sorry. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. I was just listening in. We are being told to move. So I'm just getting my stuff from my car. Hold on a second, guys. Give me, give me a second. All right, guys, sorry. Okay, sorry, there was a woman yelling over there that she needs help. And as you can see now, we are being asked to, oh, okay, sorry, I'm good. Let's move over here. We have some people praying over here. Gina, I need you to get over here. They're, they're praying over there. If you could just get some B-roll. There's a group just right over here. They're praying. If you want, you can get closer because you can, you can hear what they're saying. You have gnats on? Just make, make sure you got gnats on. Okay. All right, guys. Just give me a second here. I got to... 
I gotta put my, my battery's about to die. I, I wanna make sure that doesn't happen. I can give it back to you. It's in my pocket just to make sure that um, I don't lose it. All right, sorry guys. I was trying to plug into my external battery. I'm trying to send pictures back for you. Afterwards. Okay, perfect. Here's your card. Thanks. Before we forget about it. Yeah, I'm going to go home with it. go to get gas? Yep. Okay guys, so I know, sorry, this camera's been shaky. I've been moving around quite a bit. We're just trying to capture everything that's going on out here right now. Um, this is, or it just started developing 20, 20 minutes ago, 20 to half an hour ago. It all happened very quickly. A Toledo police officer arrived, um, Some a, a pool maintenance man. I don't know if he works for the complex or a pool, uh, some local pool company, but are they taking the tape? Okay, so they are expanding the All right, Sorry about that. tape. All right. All right, I'll expanding this area here. Okay. Should they, they should, should you ask if they should bring somebody else out here to do like another cover, covered, more coverage? So yeah, a lot of people have gathered around the pool. Yep, I was over there. Outside of the perimeter and I mean, you can see us local media, we're just standing around. So yeah, we have not heard any word from really? TPD if Braylon has been found. Uh, mm. This scene has they developed the in the last 20 minutes. The there is Toledo Fire Rescue, so. Toledo Police. I saw a pool right maintenance now. man. That man yeah. over there uh, is Detective oh. or Lieutenant oh. Dan Gherkin oh. with TPD. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to pay attention to what's going on. Um, around 20 minutes ago, okay. my photographer and I uh, just noticed a police officer as well as a pool maintenance man uh, went down into the pool and the pool was not filled up all the way from what I could see, I'm guessing about like 50%. I saw the pool maintenance man put, um, I'm not familiar with pool tools, but um, it was like a, like a stick with a hook on the end of it. And he put that he put that stick into the water, and then I mean it was maybe less than a minute. The a, a police officer had yelled, "Everybody needs to back up, back away the, from the fence." And so we did. We were pushed back over here, then over here, and then now I mean they have this whole area just taped off. And this gazebo is where a bunch of searchers had gathered to search for Braylon since Friday. So, I mean, just, just steps away, as you guys can see from the pool, not far at all. And so, yeah, on this side, this area taped off as well. 
a bunch of people have gathered. We got volunteers out here as well. Some volunteers had just come out uh, from searching, searching from the woods and then found this scene. Uh, this is the apartment complex where Braylon went, went missing. Apartment L, right over there. That is that was his uh, or that is his apartment complex where he lived with, lives with his mom. His grandmother had called 911 on Friday. I think it was Friday morning or early afternoon. They had been searching for half an hour for the boy. They said they searched all around the complex. They even said in the 911 call, uh, you can hear the grandma say, we, we searched the pool. They uh, didn't find anything. And Toledo Fire, they had, Toledo Fire had divers out here on Friday. That we can confirm. And they, they searched the pool. They went into the pool, they looked. So now, six days later, this scene has developed. Yeah, a Toledo fire did check the pool. They had divers there. Damn it, I didn't grab a laptop. I have mine. Is it in here? Mm-hmm. Had I had it, that's why I grabbed the book bag. Yeah, guys, we have been given no update since about half an hour ago from TPD about what exactly is going on. But what I can say is that I was here with my photographer. We saw a Toledo police officer as well as a pool maintenance man, what looked like a pool maintenance man, go into the pool. I saw him, uh, I saw the pool maintenance man use like some sort of stick with like a hook on the end of it. He put that into the water. The pool was filled up about maybe 50%. And then less than a minute later, um, I mean, it, it might've even been seconds. I'm not sure the, the Toledo police officer said everybody back away from the pool. You have to back up. And so we um, have been pushed, pushed all the way back here. At first, at first we were over here and now you can see we're over here and a crowd of people have gathered out here. Uh, On Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm reading through your comments. I'm trying to filter through to see if I can answer any questions. I don't care. Uh, my camp, my... I mean, you know. You, they probably let us wear our rain gear, right? I, I, <laughs> rain gear, I have a garbage bag. Sorry. <laughs> we lost the gear years ago. I have my rain jacket. 
but it's in my car. I guess I could just cover I've been in the middle of thunderstorms. <laughs> it's nothing. If my camera breaks, I get a new one, right? I've done that before. Yeah. It's like the army. You can only replace it if it breaks. So if it breaks, they give me a new one. Has it been half an hour or am I just like, my time's off right now? Has it been an hour? I think it's been half an hour. I'm looking to see when I sent a picture. It's, it's uh, probably been a half an hour. Okay. See, so yeah, about half an hour since uh, a TPD officer arrived on scene at Hunter's Ridge. This is Hunter's Ridge Apartments. This is where three year old Braylon Noble went missing. From. He, according to his grandma in the 911 call, had fallen from an apart or from a window. I do not know which, just looking at the building right now, if it's on the other side or. There's, hold on, there's something developing at the moment. All right, guys, I don't know if there's like a fight developing or what. We just heard some people yelling at each, yelling at one another. And so a group of people started rushing over and uh, TPD is heading over there now as well to kind of try and calm the situation. Okay, it just seems like people are having an exchange of words right now. Well, now we got we got a fire truck coming in. Yeah, I, I do not know what was said or the words that are being exchanged, but obviously, I mean, this, this has been very emotional for everyone. A lot of volunteers have been very emotionally invested in finding this child. And obviously the, the family has been missing Braylon as well and, and has been pleading for his safe return since he went missing. They are bringing in a fire truck, it looks like. Those are tarps, you say? Yeah. 
you know what's in the box? That long box that he's holding under his really body bag. So it looks like some officers have brought in some tarps. like 120-ish maybe when this all started? Yeah. A little before 130. Okay. Okay, guys, they're putting the tarp over the fence, over the pool fence. He might be. Well, the yeah, the um, spokes, two spokespersons for the Toledo Police Department just arrived on scene. There, right there. Looks like they are putting this tarp plastic all around the fence of the pools just to block people's view. We haven't heard any word from TPD, no official word yet. If, uh, if Braylon has been found, if there's any evidence of Braylon. So we will hear shortly. Well, here at at some point they will talk with police. Well, we will be able to talk with police. Stop crying! My mother. You poor girl. You got a load to carry. Oh, I believe it. I know. I got I got the essentials. It's too much to carry, huh? They need you need to get a case with on wheels that you can pull behind you. <laughs> you lunch and all, huh? That's so yeah, we, we don't know what led police here. What piece of information they learned suddenly at one around one, one twenty. But uh they arrived. It was it was like one po one police officer and a pool maintenance man. That's what I saw. And he went into the pool, and uh, there was some water in there. Just water, from what I could see. And he had the the maintenance man had like a stick with a hook on the end of it. So if anybody knows like what kind of pool um, tool that is, comment comment down below because I'm curious if anybody knows what I'm talking about um, because they had put that in the water he had put that in the water for like oh god it was just like a couple seconds and then a police officer yelled out everybody needs to back up so my photographer and I we were like about here we were standing over here near the fence looking down into the pool and then we were asked to back away and we ended up over here they backed us up over here and uh, we've been here since maybe I don't know I've been sitting here for maybe 15 20 minutes Based off of what we see around us. Hello. 
Okay, Jace, I see your comment. You said the pull is to pull things out, mostly if it was for large objects. Thank you, Jace, for that comment. A shepherd's hook. Thank you for commenting, guys. Okay, there's a okay. this man here with the with the camera. I'm not sure exactly what he's taking pictures of. Maybe it's just some test shots. I'm not sure. I got a life now. It's pretty old. I'll do it like this. Oh, trust me. Nobody's saying that. There's some, something about the building, you think? She's getting measurements. Mm. What I'll do is look, that's the brother right there. Where? In that white t-shirt. That's the brother of the, of the mom. Okay, guys, I see you commenting down there in the con I don't know if you can hear me. Um, you guys are saying that is a coroner and detective to photograph. Guys, you know, th this is live. You are going to hear things from surrounding people from yes. my photographer, people who I'm speaking with, who are next to me out here. Yeah. Please view at your own discretion. If I can see, I mean, it's difficult looking into the crowd to see if I can see any family or if his mom is here. How do you know that? They asked her to stay inside. Okay. Okay. That's true. They're they're probably. That, that's a good point. I think I see her, but I. 
Do you guys lit? Do, do you know like which side of the building of L? Everyone has told me it's this window with the blind pathway. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. But all right, I gotta go. My life's going. She was on the balcony on the front. No, balcony. Balcony. Okay. So I'm hearing, guys. I mean that that uh, top left window there that you can see. That is the window that um, Braylon could have fallen yeah, out of so that is my that is mom's apartment right there i'm hearing from residents and her balcony was in the back of the building so you can't see it that's where she said she was standing or, or where she was her uh, mother the grandma was in the living room and then braylon was in his bedroom uh, allegedly this window was open somehow and he could have fallen out they know it's not true especially after that nine do we have any other people coming here like reporters Roxanne and uh, Logan okay and Eric's rolling on video right now so that's back in house and we don't have to worry about. Okay. Like if we don't get. Yeah. B R A Y L I N Y. I knew how to spell. So it looks like they are filling in the uh, PIOs, public information officers for TPD right now. I see them over there. As soon as they're able to fill them in on what is going on, they will come over here and we will interview them. Okay, they're bringing out a little a cart. Okay, they're filling filling the cart with water. I wasn't sure if it was related, but um, that's peculiar or maybe it's for the crowd of people i'm not sure i don't know why they're packing that up but that that water was for the volunteers who were st um coordinating that was kind of like their hq that gazebo since friday Again, for people just tuning in, we are in Toledo, Ohio at Hunter's Ridge apartment in South Toledo, where three-year-old Braylon Noble was last seen. He was last seen by his mom. And uh, last seen by his mom on Friday morning, early afternoon. That is when grandma called 911 she uh, said that they had been searching the property for at least half an hour for Braylon and they could not find him they had searched everywhere uh, she said and this pool was searched on Friday TFR had divers in there in the pool on Friday that's confirmed so now six days later, the pool is blocked off. There's plastic sheets covering the fence so people cannot look in and see what's going on. We got detectives on scene, the coroner, public information officers. Uh, I did see a pool maintenance man that he was like the first one who arrived and he went in the pool area with a Police officer, I saw, I was able to go to the fence um, to look in, to look down there. And I saw that the water was about half filled and the 
pool man had put in a shepherd's hook. I'm hearing some people say it's called or shepherd's pole. And he put that in the water for a couple seconds. And then a Toledo police officer had shouted to everybody to back up, to back away from the fence. So that's what we did. We were pushed back here. And now, as you can see, I mean, we're back all the way over here. So they had this gazebo fenced off to this sign here. Then they removed it. And now this whole area is taped off. And a lot of people have gathered around the tape. A lot of these people, I assume, are volunteers who have been helping in the search since day one. A lot of them very emotionally invested in Braylon, trying to find him. I also was told that Braylon's mom is in her apartment right now, that police told her to stay in her apartment. And with so many people out here, you know, the tensions are high, emotions are high. We saw some people exchanging some words with one another. And uh, a fight didn't break out, but I guess a verbal fight did and police had to kind of break them up. So that might be a reason why they told, told Raylan's mom to stay in her apartment just to avoid any, you know. Let me see if I can kind of give you guys a different perspective. Yeah, FBI was here this morning, searching all around. I mean, I saw him going from building to building. TFR had their drone up in the air. They were searching a nearby dam just to get a good look of the, at the terrain. So that was, you know, this morning, early this afternoon that the FBI was here and TFR had a drone up in the air searching the woods. Law enforcement was out in the woods searching the air, or yeah, searching the woods for, for Braylon. So what they found out between then and around 120, we don't know. Whatever they found out led them here. They did not look long. I mean, like I said, there was a pool maintenance man and a Toledo police officer. They went down to the pool and it only took like a couple seconds. The guy had the shepherd's hook, shepherd's pole in the pool. And then TPD told everybody to back off. And I know that because I was standing right at the fence because I was curious as soon as a police officer arrived, I was like, okay, what's going on? The pool was not filled up. It was, it was filled up 
half, 50%. Guys, again, I'm just gonna mention, please watch at your own discretion. This is a live video. You know, people are saying things around me. I'm talking to my photographer, talking to fellow reporters. So. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Yep, no no confirmation yet. If they have found Braylon or anything related to Braylon or the search. Who is that? Who's that? Somebody call my mama and tell her stop calling my phone right now. Damn. 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 Guys, I don't know what's going on, but I just know a crowd. Do you know what happened? Two police officers went over there. I don't know. We'll see when the they bring police just went in and so everyone thinks they're going to arrest her. Okay, guys. I want to move. I heard that two Toledo police officers were moving towards the apartment, her apartment. There's some officers here right now. I heard somebody in the crowd say, we want justice. They just say, kick the door in. They go for you and kick the door in and go get her. Who, police or someone? That, someone from the crowd is yelling. Oh. I work for North Taco Bell. Oh, okay. I've always wanted to say hi to you. She's so sweet. So this is the uh, building where mom is in, apparently, and there's a crowd of people who have gathered. There are people who are yelling, go get her. Another one yelling to kick the door in. So this crowd has gathered outside of mom's house, or excuse me, her apartment, where she is currently, TPD had apparently told her to stay in her apartment. Lieutenant Gherkin with TPD, he's walking, he's in the tan pants. So this crowd is gathered outside of her, so yeah, outside of mom's apartment building. They've been yelling, go get her, we want justice. Now TPD, TPD is now standing outside of her building. Let me just walk to my photographer. Gina, Gina.
Gina, did you get B-roll? I just got over here. Okay. So yeah, just just get some. I would say over here is like the best. Wait, can you? I'm trying. Hold on. Okay, that's fine. I didn't think it was going to happen. We're just over here shortly, you guys, because I don't know. I don't know if, if uh, they may, I, I don't want to speculate, but if TPD are over here. What they trying to find there? We're just trying to get video of everything that's going on. No. So once again, people in the crowd yelling, we want justice. They're standing outside of mom's apartment. Let me just go back over here for a second. I just want to make sure that. So again, we just got some police officers outside of mom's apartment. People are calling for justice, saying, go get her. If, if you want to go back, that's fine. I got some Okay. If you want to try to get sound, your nuts and bolts, so we don't need to worry about any other sound, do we? Is that what they said? Yeah, we're nuts and bolts. So. Okay, now people are trying to move to the back of the apartment. <laughs> CPD is just trying to keep up with everybody. They're trying to prevent people from getting in, I guess. But uh, people chanting, we want justice. All right, let me go back over here. I'm just going back over here to see what the update is.
how long he's been there. We're not, you know, some evidence or whatever they got. So we're not going to say anything until they come up to us and they, they call us themselves. I know. I know. I know what it looks like. But we, we can't say anything. Oh, right. I know. I know. Hey guys, sorry, I was just trying to console the um, search coordinator. I mean, she's been out here since day one. She's very emotionally invested in, uh, she's, she's been very emotionally invested in finding Braylon. Um, I just wanted to give her a pat on the back and tell her that she's been doing such a great job. So yeah, I mean, you can see all those people over there. They're all surrounding um, mom's apartment. I took the camera away from the scene for a second just so I could console someone who has been out here since day one. She's very emotional. She's the search coordinator. So guys, if I take the camera away from a scene that you know, you're focused on for a second, I apologize. Bear with me here. Well, they're bringing more officers out here. Guys, I'm just over here to see if, um, Someone is taken away into custody. I don't want to speculate, but for people who are wondering, that's why I'm here. I don't know if they're going to try and, uh, it looks like they're trying to bring some cars near the uh, apartment. I don't know which way.
car right there, y'all. No, the car she can't forget. Right there. Right there. There she go. Here she go. Pull it off, y'all. Here she go. Pull it off. Here she go. Jail's too good for you! Jail's too good for you! We got you! Fuck you! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Look at Cody. Cody on that with her. Cody on that with her. All right, guys, let me let me see if I can confirm with somebody that that was mom. They definitely put somebody in a cop car. I'm going to assume by the screen, you know, everybody's yelling. I think it's the mom, but I just want to confirm that first. I'll be heading back over there. Let me just see if I can confirm with Lieutenant. Lieutenant, can you confirm who they put in the... Yeah, we got them out of here. Yes, mom and grandma left. Yes, I will confirm Are, are they in custody I'm in handcuffs? Not. They left. Okay. Where do we park at? Oh, okay. So... I just talked with Lieutenant Gherkin with TPD. He said that mom and grandma left. I asked him, were they taken into custody? Were they handcuffed? He said they left. So. Again, you guys, um, I asked Lieutenant Gherkin with TPD if the mom was uh, handcuffed. He said that grandma and mom were taken away. That is all he said.
What did she confirm? Bring in the tar box so nobody can record. That's what they need to drink. Come back on here. Uh-uh, you gotta be closed, baby. Come on, princess. Ray, 